Firstly, thank you to everybody for watching ASFN. Remember to subscribe to our channel and like these videos. Now again, we're spending some time on Cobble Yo's and if you've been fortunate enough to be in the Jeffreys Bay area and fish Cobble Yo's, you'll have a special place for this area. There's almost always something to catch and the whole area lends itself that you can fish in almost every condition. As some of you might know already, Michael Paris recently joined our team of ambassadors and we know he'll be a great asset to the team in sharing information with you guys. One twenty pound steel on there. That was a little bit of a something, something, something. You're too scared to throw the lighter rods and smaller hooks and stuff. But I think eventually we will. <laughs> because there's a lot of fish, I think, in this water. All the east we've had non stop for almost two weeks. And then suddenly a west comes through. with almost no sink I don't know if I've got very light sinkers but we'll see and just a small little soft bait for them and see if we can hook one of those see now maybe doing far too much doing a semi side here yeah, with a
that then where the fish swims away with it. That will now gave him a chance to spit it out. Quite interesting this rod we're just flicking right here I felt it go a bit and then it swam all the way in as I tightened it up I could feel the resistance started going and I tightened it up and pulled it out of its mouth but it was lying right here it swam it all the way into the front here so where I had a 30 meters cast, meter cast that brought it in to almost about seven meters must be one of those small eagles or something Beautiful fish, got these lovely lines on them, slight like blue tint, and there's no teeth, so you can stick your hand right in the mouth. But incredible fish, really, really beautiful. This is quite a small one compared to how they get, but we'll take any bite today. It was a really good pull. 
took a lot of line, but it just darted off so fast to the right. There was a pot of dolphins moving at the same time, quite close behind. So I was worried I'd hook one of them, but then stopped fighting completely, just went a bit of dead weight. And that fish literally swam itself right in here to the front, which is the same thing that that small bronzy did. We reckon it's because there's some big fish swimming out the back there. So, yeah, we're definitely going to try and get one of the bigger ones. We'll take that, it's a good bite for today. So. Jumping! No, it was, it was strange because as I got that bite, there was dolphins swimming the right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought I hooked that and it was something to pull line quick. And then, <laughs> so I was just worried it was a dolphin. But then again, same as the last, it swam itself from there. Right Came the back in, there's, there's teeth, oh it's the dolphins that scare them. I was just man. winding slack, thought I'd lost the fish and then... It right must be all the, the fish out here. Yeah, I think there's some big fish cruising. Yeah, and we need, a, we need fresh bait, man. Is that guy? Have you put a duck in or We'll be back tomorrow definitely but much earlier we came far too late doesn't give us uh, enough time to, to work some different options i just put a whole dead mullet hooked it and threw it over the lip where the mullet got smashed here on the lip and it's just lying dead 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 so that didn't quite work I think we need fresh bait we were too late to net them the water was too high already so I think we'll do, get, definitely give it a good go tomorrow morning.
Okay, so Bronzy picked that one up. Something picked this one up and tripped the sinker. But no luck with what that was. That's part of fishing to a rod. Another positive of fishing cobbios is that there's not a lot of areas where you're going to get snagged on. Generally speaking, you don't lose a lot of tackle here. The diversity of species and options you have really makes it one of the top class areas to fish. Giving back a little bit. sucking back so that's his strategy because she's pregnant it's just a whole different ball game as well as the flu for the last two weeks I'm sure that added a bit but you're stubborn as hell they get all panicky obviously because they're pregnant and then she puts up a fight for her life and I'm glad we got her back before she dropped the pups because they'll drop the pups when they pull up like that I'm sure you've seen in the blue race we've had it on shows where they drop the pups there but she's back in the water she should get she should calm down now and go. Whew. Really thought that was a duck ball, the way it fought. Okay guys, well that was a nice little session Sunday afternoon. We thought we'll quickly come over throw. The water is so nice. It's just that we do fighting through and we we're fishing for some edibles. I need a small stumpy on this one. And then through that mackerel head with Octi smashed up octi around it to protect against the, the peckers and yeah at first honestly duck pull the way it took the way it took off the way it, uh, the strength it swam with uh, went straight for the current it was really a intelligent fight and a very very strong stubborn fight ended up being a pregnant female and judging by where it measured it's over two meters so it's really a good fish and really put the cherry on being in this lovely place on a lovely afternoon doing what we love most really really what a reward to end it with thank you guys for watching and guys please if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet that really helps us if you
you like this video that helps us and we'll be on a regular basis now posting videos uh, depending on the fish by the way but we've got some good news and we'll be adding some sub facets or some facets of fishing to our bouquet of shows we bring to you guys thanks for watching